Hey everyone, welcome to Grace Necessities. If this is your first time to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button. You can do that right now. And of course, leave a comment at the bottom when it's all finished. So it's springtime and I absolutely love this time of the year. And so I said, we're all in the house. Um, Easter's coming up. Let's get together. Let's do a nice family oriented event um in the house and super simple super easy um something the okay, kids so would love but in. also the adults so can basically have fun with what you're gonna as do well. is you're gonna take your strawberries and just dip them into whatever color that you want the actual strawberry coating to be so as you can see i use this technique where you tap on the back of your wrist and what that does is get rid of any excess chocolate so what we're getting ready to do next is decorate our first strawberry and i'm going to be doing the technique where you put a couple different colors in one and then you dip the strawberry in it and you kind of turn it and swirl it as you remove it from the chocolate so i guess you can call it like a swirl design So I was trying to like drizzle the colors on top of the white, but as you can see, it kind of like blopped out, which is still fine because it's gonna come out really nice. It really kind of doesn't matter. All that matters is what you do once you dip the strawberry into the chocolate. Okay, so here we go, getting ready to dip it in. And you may not be able to see it as well as I thought, but basically what I'm doing is turning the strawberry as I dip it to get the colors to have the effect that I would like. Then once the colors to your desire are liking, you just pull it out. You can still tap the back of your wrist if you'd like to get that excess chocolate off, or you can kind of let it drip and hang, whichever. And then you just place it down with the rest of them and that one is finished. Okay, so while those are drying, let's go ahead and make our egg-shaped Rice Krispie Treats. These are fun and delicious. I absolutely love, 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 love these. So basically what I did was I took the regular square-shaped Rice Krispie Treat and I took the four corners of it and allowed that to help me mold it into the shape of an egg. And it kind of works out perfect. So what I'm doing for this first egg is drizzling the chocolate colors over it. I decided to use the colors like blue, white, yellow. Um, pretty much they go along with the theme that we're doing and you just literally take a spoon, a fork, or whatever you want to choose to drizzle it with and just drizzle it across the egg and you want to fill the color in enough to where... I said egg, that's funny. But well, we're making eggs anyway. <laughs> Let's just have some fun, yay! But anyway, so yeah, you just want to drizzle the color over it to make it kind of not look like a rice krispie treat from the front when you're looking at it so you just want to fill the color in nice and full okay so for this rice krispie treat we're going to create the marble effect So once you have all your colors applied, you're going to take a toothpick or a skewer or something with a small fine point and just drag it back and forth or whatever direction you would like your pattern.
Okay, so by now our strawberries should be dry. Let's go ahead and decorate. We're just gonna do some more drizzling, switching it up with different colors. So once you're done decorating everything, here's your final product. So I hope you all enjoyed watching just as much as I enjoyed making it. If you decide to create this look, please feel free to leave a picture in the comment section. Of course, don't forget to like and sub, 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 subscribe. Thank you so very much for watching. Stay tuned. And don't forget that grace is a necessity.